Contemplating Today's Gospel Liturgical Day, Fifth Sunday in Ordinary Time The Gospel According to Mark On leaving the synagogue, he entered the house of Simon and Andrew, with James and John. Simon's mother-in-law lay sick with a fever. They immediately told him about her. He approached, grasped her hand, and helped her up. Then the fever left her, and she waited on them. When it was evening, after sunset, they brought to him all who were ill or possessed by demons. The whole town was gathered at the door. He cured many who were sick with various diseases, and he drove out many demons, not permitting them to speak because they knew him. Rising very early, before dawn, he left and went off to a deserted place, where he prayed. Simon and those who were with him pursued him, and on finding him said, Everyone is looking for you. He told them, Let us go on to the nearby villages, that I may preach there also. For this purpose have I come. So he went into their synagogues, preaching and driving out demons throughout the whole of Galilee. Commentary by Father Francis Cataranu from Sabade, Spain Everyone is looking for you. Today we contemplate Jesus in Capernaum, the center of his ministry, and more specifically in the house of Simon Peter. On leaving the synagogue, he entered the house of Simon and Andrew. There he finds his family, those who hear the word of God and act on it. Simon's mother-in-law is bedridden with illness, and he, with a gesture that goes beyond the anecdotal, takes her hand, lifts her from her prostration, and allows her to wait on them. Jesus approaches the suffering poor brought to him and heals them simply by extending his hand. With only brief contact with him, the source of life, they are liberated and saved. Everyone seeks Christ, some explicitly and diligently, others perhaps without being aware of it. Thus St. Augustine confessed, Our heart is restless until it rests in you. But just as we seek him because we need to be freed from evil, and the evil one, he approaches us to make possible what we could never achieve on our own. He has made himself weak to win over the weak. I have become all things to all, to save at least some. Jesus' hand is extended towards us as we lie overwhelmed by so many evils. It's enough to open our own and we will find ourselves standing and renewed for service. We can open our hand through prayer, taking example from the Lord. Rising very early before dawn, he left and went off to a deserted place where he prayed. Furthermore, every Sunday's Eucharist is our encounter with the Lord who comes to lift us from the sin of routine and discouragement to make us living witnesses of an encounter that constantly renews us and that truly sets us free in the grace of Jesus Christ.